The other day I was watching a video from Default Cube about uh, how to pixelate an image in Blender and I was thinking why not to go a bit further with how to create a, some real pixel. So here we go, uh, some tutorial. You can see here my image reference. So I'll uh, try to pixelate Mona Lisa. And what uh, pixel look like from really close. The really beginning of the video will look like the CG meter uh, video. So I import the Mona Lisa texture. I try to match the ratio. I start with a snap node to pixelate. As I realized that my pixels are not square, I will do another way. So I start back with a square plane. And I fix my ratio by using the mapping node. I get ba back my snap node. So for those who don't know, snap will uh, make all the values that enter in the input uh, some multiple of the increment. So if you have, uh, for example, the number two in the increment, all snapped uh, value will be uh, 2, 4, 8, uh, or only even value. I add a value node to make easier the snap setting. So I'm truncating my value and use the divide node to make it input in snap. And now I can freely set the size of my pixels. But my pixels don't still don't have the good ratio, so I just forgot to inverse mapping and snap. Here we are, some nice square pixels. Now it looks a bit like as a result that default cube did. Now I will do the part with the real pixel. First of all, I want to recreate the UV coordinate in my in each my pixels. So I use a fraction um, node. The fraction node uh, take the rest of the integer division that Snap did. So it will get me uh, a all new coordinate system. As you can see, I have now some new UV in each of my pixels. Now I want to separate my each of my pixels in three columns, one green, one blue, and one red. So I do that with the separate X, Y, Z node and the compare node. As you can see by changing the epsilon value, I can make the columns thinner or larger. And with the value, I can place uh, on the right or on the left the column. Now I need that two times more. I add a value node to set epsilon value uh, more easily. I give the good color to each column and I mix the result. As you can see, the columns are too close from one another. Now it's time to make the color in adequation of the Mona Lisa. So let's separate the red, green, blue value from Mona Lisa and multiply it to the good pixel color. Here we are, as simple as that. 
now as any LCD screen I try to get the black darker and changing my uh, shader from diffuse to emission as the LCD work. Now let's add some pixel to see if it works. Let's make the word darker. Result in cycles is more convincing. Now let's add some space between each row. That's all. Now we can do some little tweaks and uh, prepare the animation for demoing the shader. Thanks a lot for everyone that watched this to the end and uh, see you next time.